What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 39 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We are in the Pony Wilds. We are on Pony Island, and we just finished exploring Seafolk Village. And now we're out. We out here uh, with Lily in her new getup. It's a completely different kind of island, is it? Sure is, Lily. And um, we're just gonna kind of see what this island's got to offer. Some grassy areas there. Uh, they're going on a berry hunt, and we got a trainer here. What are you, a veteran? She's got that hat on, the like, that teal hat. Makes me think veteran. Might just be Pokemon trainer though. What are you? Ace trainer. Veteran ace trainer. Ooh, Garboder, nice. Okay, next. Garboder down. Wow, I literally one foot into the sh into the grass, into the tall grass, and I get into a battle. Ooh, a Gastrodon. So we're gonna catch a new Pokemon today. All right, that's all she wrote, folks. Just needed a quick um, sleep, sleep on the guy, and and there you go. Robert is your uncle. Wimpod's hitting those levels. And we got Gastrodon in the Pokedex. We're making moves, guys. Filling this Pokedex out. Quickly. More than halfway there now. But he's already evolved and I don't want to add him to the team because he's not gen 7 so let's just uh grab some berries as it, you know when in rome when on pony island do as the pony islanders do getting some ooh a wakan berry got an item over here maximus potion got some more berries over there this is kind of like a little maze thing we got going on here Okay, make quick work of that, and we pick up a strange creature. Drop off Pokemon eggs in the hot springs bath on Poke Pelago Isle of You. Oh no! A crab brawler. <laughs> I love this drunken little crab. He's so funny. Sad to see him go down, but down he does go. <laughs> Grabbing berries, boys. All right. Uh, looks like that's the way we're supposed to go to complete the uh, to complete the zone and go on with the story. But I don't feel like I've done everything here. Got some conspicuous rocks. What do you have to say about that, Stoutland? Nothing? You're the quiet, the silent type, huh? I didn't really go to the left here, so... Oop. We sniffing something. And it's a pearl. Very cool. Then you'll have to show that endurance and spirit to route all the trainers in the area first. So we got the master trainer on the beach here. Uh, we got another Zygarde cube item over here and a max repel. And we've got a splashy splash in the water over here that will come attack me if I hop out. So let's see what it is. And an item on there. What are we fighting? Something cool? Something cool maybe? Oh cool, that is cool. A whalemer, that's cool. Whalemers are cool. That Whalmer had the strats, though. The, I mean, <laughs> first turn rest. He didn't even know what I was going for. As it turns out, I went for a resisted move because I didn't want to. I wanted to hold back and not take him out. And it brought him down to yellow. And then he got that. He hit that turn one rest. And I'm like, all right. Did the same attack. Had him in the yellow. And now he's asleep. I didn't even need to hit him with a sing. That's nice. So Whalmer's gonna go to the box. 
We can get a Whale Lord sometime later to finish off the, uh, the Pokedex. Ooh, a Dusk Stone. Very cool. Um, more items. Pearl String. Ah! I shouldn't have... I done goofed. I did. I dunned. I should be sniffing, because there's a, a beach here. Aha! Knew it. A big pearl. Huge. Got a trainer. This area, look at the map. I mean, there's not a whole lot more that I haven't explored, but it's a pretty big area. Broad is the thing. It's kind of all over the place. But we got Dancer Kara with an Oracorio. Ooh, it's another cool new Oracorio whose type I don't know. It's kind of blue, maybe ice. Couldn't really figure it out, unfortunately. What is this? It's a picturesque point. I'm wondering if it's advanced tips. There are shops in Festival Plaza. You get bottle caps and gold bottle caps. Get as many you can and get down to some hyper training. All right. Bottle caps. Hyper training. I'm going to grab some more berries. Two charty berries and a shaka. Nice. I'm getting some competitively viable berries now. You got to get off. Get off your back. Oh, a rare candy. They're just giving out these rare candies like... Like candy. Hmm. Uh, nothing over here except a battle. And another battle here. Pokemon can only remember four moves at a time. I know. That'd be a crazy way to mix up the meta. Like, thinking about how many Pokemon there are with four move slot syndrome, and how great they would... Skarmory is actually one of them. Skarmory could really do with a fifth move slot. To allow him to be... If he's going to opt to be a true support Pokemon, a lot of the time he's setup fodder. But if you remove that, who knows? I gotta tell you, this island stepped it up. I mean, all the Pokemon here are in their mid-40s. Someone wants to learn Hydro Pump. A little P? Nah, I like Sparkling Aria too much. I like the accuracy and the consistent power. So let's continue on. Uh, I know there was w at least one other trainer over there that I didn't end up battling. Um, yeah, how do I get over there without running through too much grass? I don't think I don't think there is a way. Hope for the best. Ooh, a Grand Bull. Alright, so we can catch a Grand Bull here. And maybe we can do that trade anyway. That trade earlier that we said we weren't going to do. The convenient thing about playing Pokemon Moon is that if you're like me and you play mostly during the daytime, it's nighttime in-game, which means I can use Dusk Balls pretty much all the time for just a cheaper alternative at a better catch rate than uh, than Ultra Balls. Nice. It's real nice is what it is. Uh, Granville is going to go to the box. And you know what? Since I'm right here... No! Okay, I need to use a Repel. <laughs> Too many battles. Another Granville. Made quick work of that Grand Bull. Now we're going to continue back here and trade for that. Just to, I don't know, just complete whatever side questy kind of things we have. Uh, you won a Steeny. I won a Grand Bull. 
I mean, you gotta have it, am I right? Thanks. I'll be good to your Grand Bull, so be nice to my Steeny. Get out of here, Grand Bull. I never loved you anyway. That's so sad. I used Grand Bull in the last season of the GBA. He's a very good tier 5, as far as the GBA rankings of everything you're concerned. We got a little Steena. Steeny. My Steeny special def well it's not your Steeny anymore, it's mine now. It has Grassium, so you should use the Z power. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, so that trade is done. We're gonna pop a um a repel here. Super a repel. Running. Aha. Another trainer. Perhaps the last one I need. Looking at the the map below before this battle. We're pretty close to the, Oh, it's a chef. Nice. Or cook, excuse me. Does it make anyone else uncomfortable that that trainer used two bug type Pokemon and he's a cook? Why are his Pokemon bugs? What's he putting in my soup? So it looks like we are pretty much done with this area. We've still got the super repel in effect so we can run back over this way and uh, challenge that. Oh look another Wimpod. Maybe I'll try and catch it after this. Uh, they also have a Focus Sash. Will you try taking them on? I'll try. So it's going to take minimum two. Uh, I won't be Okoing anything in this battle because she's got a Focus Sash. But I think that means she's going to give me one. Oh, she's got four Pokemon. Yeah, we're cutting through this. This is going to take way too long. Oh my god. So we get to celebrate that... Uh, atrocious battle by watching Wimpod evolve. So now we get a Galissapod, which is pretty sweet, guys. I gotta be honest. That battle was so frustrating. I, I can't even explain to you guys how frustrating that battle was. They all had Focus Sashes. It was four Oracorios, and all of them, first turn, were clicking Teeter Dance. So they were just... I'd bring them down to their Sash, I'd get confused, and then I'd hit myself in confusion once or twice just trying to finish them off it was so frustrating but now we got the bug that looks like palkia golisopod hot diggity look at you you're on fire partner uh it battles skillfully with its six arms but spends most of its time peacefully meditating in caves deep beneath the sea and it's bug water and i'm really glad about that is this first impression? Yes. First impression. I'm curious about it. It's bug type. It only works on the first turn. Oh, okay, so it's like a really powerful bug type fake out. Uh, very cool move. He learned spikes and aqua jet. Oh my word. Galissapod is power. At least he's got a good move pool. Uh, I don't know about his stats. Maybe not enough. He also wants to learn Sucker Punch. Yeah. I will. I'll take that. Steel Metal Claw. He's got the Aqua Jet. This man is all about. All about the uh, priority moves. Honestly, though, Water Bug is such great typing, and it's so sad that b prior to this, Sir Skit was the only Pokemon that had it. So let's see if we can get that other Wimpod. I think that'd be worth... Yeah. Just cut it off. It's like playing uh, Tron. Light bikes. Try and like, cut them off. 
Let's just throw a quick ball at this thing real, real easy and then get on out of here. Crit captured in a quick ball. Hello, Wimpod. This Wimpod's actually a higher level than my current Wimpod. But that's fine, because it's not about... It's not about its level. We got another one. That's the important thing. GTS trade fodder. Uh, yeah, we'll use one more. So we're, we're done with this zone. And uh, while it's been about 30 minutes of recording, after editing for you guys, it'll probably only be about a 15 minute episode, since a majority of this time was spent battling. But we see Mudsdale, which means that our good friend, oh, Lily's being real nice. Wow, Pokemon trainers really do amaze me. It's a hard path to walk, and even so, you don't let yourself get held back by fear seeing your Pokemon friends get hurt. Hapu. Hapu looks so angry. You look different. Like you're ready to go all out in something now. What? <laughs> no one could call you Lily Livered. I don't. What does that mean? Um, so Hapu. Do you know where we can find the kahuna? The kahuna? Hmm, don't have one here on Pony. You mean... Well, I suppose the time might be right now. I already finished up my battle against that odd little thing that appeared out the sky. What? Stick with me, you two. What? How does she know all of what's going on? Geo, we just have to keep going, right? But then again, you are a trainer, aren't you? Suppose you always keep moving forward. Wait there. There's someone hiding behind the window. Eek! Why were you hiding? I don't think we've been introduced. Ho ho ho, I'm Hapu's old gran. Are you two friends with my girl? Yes, we are. So she has friends now. Traveling around the islands, making new friends. You kids are luckier than you know. What's up? My champ, so beast. If you want to head for the Pony Island ruins, how about a little bit of help from this old gran? Here, hand over your ride pager a moment. Ooh, do I... Sweet, do I get him a champ in the ride pager? <laughs> nice. My champ was registered to the ride pager. He, like, carries me or what? You'll need to move some big obstacles to make it down that path you two hope to travel. Oh, is this the strength? Ah, strength, guys. We're about to go back. Reminder, Big Rocks, Diglett Tunnel, Ten Carat Hill, Ruins of Life, and Lush Jungle. Pony Breaker Coast. You'll know it by the soil. It's, soil. it's black as pitch. Go through there, and you'll find the ruins. Thank you very much, ma'am. You've been a big help. The Ruins of Hope. Tapu Fini? Is that what he said? I was I was kind of skipping the, the chat. The Ruins of Hope are past Point Breaker Coast. Let's hope they're cheerier than they sound. Uh, we gotta... I'm gonna check out some things first. We're still under the effects of, of Repel. There's an adrenaline orb there. I just want to see what's around here first. Uh, is this someone not going to let me through? Vast Pony. You'll need permission from the Kahuna. You just... Hapu just said there wasn't a Kahuna here. You guys can't do this to me. 
But I see beneath, there's a shiny stone there, and beneath me is a green sparkle. So how are we going? Ah, oh, look, another green sparkle. Man. We just sparkling out here. We out here. We them sparkles, boys. Can I hop over that? What's going on? No? It's a very effective wall. A couple of toppled rocks, that's all it took. But we got another one. A lot of, little bit of, just little things hanging around here. Up, Norte. About over here. No? So then it looks like we pretty much got everything unless they're holding on to secret items inside this house. Rough ride. There's a door out to the back. Meowth here. A calendar on the wall and a purple door. Aha! Something big and purpley and sparkly. Sin is calling me. Another Zygarde core. Each of these cores, core moves are memorized by each Zygarde cube. So you can use it to teach Zygarde moves as many times as you like. Uh, I'm still... I'm doing my best to understand the whole Zygarde cube situation. I'm sure it's not that complicated. I'm just I'm being ignorant. These guys are watching TV. Pokemon just watching TV. So, two different doors heading to the same little backyard, I'm assuming. Oh, it's just a, another way around to here. Anything? Alright, no. So, it looks like we're kind of done with this little area here. Let's see what we got. Uh, to the right is the Ruins of Hope. Uh, ooh. I want... I want that TM. How, how to get to there. How to get... I'm probably gonna come from... Yeah, I gotta come down below. This is Pony Breaker Coast. You know what? We are going to end this episode here because we've done a little bit of exploring and there's no point for for us to rush through this. We can make these episodes you know, a zone at a time if they seem to be pushing that way. So, hope to see you guys on the next episode. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.